I still have an obnoxious amount of candy left over from Halloween. I have to get creative and figure out new ways to use it up. My kids are over here asking if they can have candy. No, I'm gonna turn it into something else. The plan is we're gonna use this Yellow Cakes Mix by Pillsbury, and we're just gonna make this per the instructions, kind of. And we're not gonna follow these instructions right back here. My dad, he used to make cakes back in the day before it was like a, a famous thing to do. And this is what he did. He would make wedding cakes or birthday cakes, and he would use just a box mix. But right here, instead of water, he would use milk. And instead of oil, he would use butter. And he would add one more egg than it says. And it tastes way better. And I'm gonna look like I know what I'm doing. Like this cake came from a bake shop, but really we know that I just made it here in my tiny little kitchen. Literally, my kitchen is a hallway, okay? If I can do this, you guys can do it because my kitchen is nothing fabulous. But I'm thinking like Twix. Look at the Snickers, it's stuck together. What is this? M&M's maybe, anything chocolatey in here, I'm gonna chop up and then I'm just gonna mix it into the batter before we bake it. My husband said I should just leave them all whole, which I think would be a great idea as well, but I wanted to chop them up. So let me know and down in the comments if you decide to keep them whole and how that turns out for you. Here we go. We're just gonna mix that in to our batter. I used Pillberry's chocolate fudge frosting, and before I poured it out, I put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds just to give it that pour ability. And then I topped it with some more chopped up Halloween candy. The cake looked delicious on the outside, but was even better on the inside. It had all of those chocolatey pieces on the inside with the wonderful chocolate crunchy coating on the outside. Like and follow for more easy recipes like this.